Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so here are my steampunk bunnies, at least what I've got going tonight. I'm not super satisfied, but we're going to make something anyway. Um, Alright, so I'm going to use these metallic uh, gilding polish things and, well... For this one anyway we'll start with this one um you you don't pull them out you like push them and they like pop sort of or something anyway um so this looks still okay i think that's what it's supposed to look like i think it's getting a little dry i'm gonna stop by the store and get some of that press is it press and seal Somebody told me to put something on it, so, um, alright, so I'm just going to lightly, let me just tap that off a little bit, I don't know how much is on there, not too bad, um, so I'm just going to put a little here and there, I want it primarily green, because we're going with green and copper for one, and then, um, a gray and pink and whatever for, for another one, that ought to do it. It, uh, you can like really color with these things, but that's not that's not what I need right this second. Hmm. Yeah, let me do this one next. Okay, that one looks a little better. Okay, so we're just barely. I'm trying to just get the raised images. If that will. Um, That'll work. I did see my my bunny. You guys know I told you I usually do um, a bunny card the day I see a bunny in my yard or at my fence or whatever. Um, this year I was I was sick, so I didn't uh, get to do it on that day. But we're still we're gonna make up for that. So, and I've seen him a few times now. The other day I was almost late for work. I was just standing there watching that actually they were in my neighbor's yard at that point um but I was just watching it was like a bunny show there was two of them and it was so cute they were just so precious precious I love little bunnies I love them um all right so there's that one this one's called copper shine by the way this one is Indian pink and this one is citrus green okay so honestly, well, oh, that's falling off. It's kind of dry. Um, you pretty much only, I mean, I've never used more than like the lid. I've tapped in the thing just a little bit, but you really wouldn't have to. And this is already too much, I can tell. So you just barely need, unless, like I said, you are doing some serious coloring, then um, just adding a little here. A little there. Yeah. Hmm. We may add more to it. We'll see. Alright, so that one is good for now. And let's try this one. This one I need to do... Um, a nice, I thought about using this, but I think that's going to be too light. Although, I don't know, we might. Some, this one is called graphite. So, still pretty much going to do the pink. Well, I might as well just get it. The pink does not have much in the lid for some reason. It's, it's kind of like jello. <laughs> Ugh, stick my finger right in that. Trying not to use up my baby wipes right this second, but there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and try where the light silver go. I'm gonna get them all mixed up and have them all going cray cray. I'm going to move this down just, just a little bit. And 
this one is called Silver Dream. And it's a very light. So, ooh, that one's way juicy. Um, I think that's probably what they're supposed to be. Softer jello. <laughs> um, this is like a, kind of like a, what was it called? Silver Dream. Um, reminds me of like a sterling silver ring or necklace or something. squeeze just a little bit more and not do it on the raised parts. Squish a little in there. We'll move that to the side. Now we're going to go for the darker. Yes, much darker. And I think I need just a little darker pink. Let's go back here with just a little more a little more pink. Okay. So these have been quite hard, I have to say. I think my vibe is off because I did not have the bunny that I needed. Hang on, y'all. My phone's ringing. Okay. Yep. Not for me. All right. Um, so if I had that bunny, I think I could have rocked. But, oh well. I will have that bunny. To be honest, I've already ordered it from AliExpress. But, we all know in bunny land that it's going to take months to get here. So, I'll have to use that next spring. Um, but, that's okay. Alright, I'm going to go just a hint darker. Because I think, it, I think we can, oops. Well, I don't want to take away the pink. I think I can darken that up just a tad. I don't know. Now I feel like I need to go back in with some more pink. I guess, I guess you just, it's not going to be a fast car, just so you know. You just kind of keep fiddling with it until, until it gets there. So we'll think on it. I might add more, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close these up a bit. I'll just leave the top things kind of off. So anyway, yeah, this has been um, difficult. <laughs> What's that go to? The light silver? I've been um, die cutting a bunch of um, a bunch of um, little cogs and wheels and and things like that. So okay, let's move those a little bit. All right, we're going to take that out of our way. A little quick baby wipe here. Wipe my hands just just a tad. Okay. So for the green, I don't know if that's quite gold enough, to be honest. You know what? It's not. Or copper, I guess. Alright, we're going back in, y'all. Going back in. Alright, let's go for the gold here. Squish, squish, squish. That's better. Alright. Now for some more pink. I don't know why I closed them up. You. So do you guys have any bunnies in your yard or anything like that? Do you live where bunnies are? <laughs> I'm still kind of in a neighborhood, but I guess it's a little off the beaten path. So, um, 
But there are definitely bunnies. Okay. So now let's hit it back with this. I wonder how much is left on there. Good bit. Okay. This might be enough. I might not have to open it back. we'll go with that. I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. It's late. We had our um, 80s dance today and uh, 80s theme. We had all kinds of little black lights and this and that for the kids and um, everybody came dressed in big hair and neon and whatnot. I wore some uh, I wanted to do my neon eyeshadow, but I ended up going with, you, remember, you guys remember Three's Company, Mrs. Roper, that's probably who I look like instead of Madonna, who I was going for, but um, having this like bright blue eyeshadow, and I don't know, it was it was crazy really, but um, um, alright, so I have this die cut here, and I think I'm gonna go see how like the the embossing folder didn't do you know it's well it's this one I'll show it to you uh, it's the cuddle bug or Provo craft whatever anyway it's that one and uh, yeah it it did it doesn't really do very well down here it's not quite long enough so um, or cut out yeah, that's too pink. I cut out a bunch of pink ones, too. I don't, I don't have my sentiment strips ready, so you won't be seeing that part, probably. But I think I'm going to put, like, Happy Spring or something right there. But first, I believe... I don't know. Where's that stuff at? There it is. This little luster ribbons, um, midnight sparkle, sunburst, silver gray, white sparkle, apple green, apple green, amber, and russet. So you could do it with this, but um, I think my finger is just going to be a little bit lighter, touch or lighter version. So, um, but anyway, so I was rocking the blue eyeshadow and the big hair and things like that today, um, but like I said, I was looking more like Mrs. Roper than Madonna, um, but I should have went with my neon eyeshadow palette once I got there, uh, and then I was wondering, I didn't have any, um, oh, I used to call those, uh, leg warmers, right, back in the day, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about, um, so, um, our nurse cut um, socks and made hers somehow. So I thought that was really creative. And uh, so that was pretty cool. And then I had a bunch of, some of the kids, you know, didn't dress up or whatever and then wanted to as soon as they got there, of course. And, um, but um, I had some neon sunglasses from a lesson I had done. And uh, so I gave those to the kids and, so a few more got to have an accessory at least. Um, but it was fun. They each got to each group or whatever. Got to dance a little over an hour, I guess. And um, they had a nice playlist, I have to say. Although they didn't have Ice Ice Baby. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I was regretting that, like not hearing that. But uh, me and the, the nurse were like jamming to everything, so we didn't care. All right. Okay, I think I'm loving this. Maybe not loving. Loving is a strong word, but liking better than not. Okay. So, Bunny's going down with the Dollar Tree foam. Here you go, Bunny. It's better. There are some scissors. It's better than what, um, <laughs> But I had been 
doing before because uh, I was about to like such a you know sweet little bunny and it's just not working out I'm like ah die bunny die <laughs> so that's the uh, crazy side of me right all right no no death to the bunny today please no violence got enough of that in the world for sure not here on the stamp channel we're we're happy bunnies at least when we're stamping we are All right, I'm just going to tuck a piece. Well, I might get a whole little square right there. Maybe not. That's a little big. Okay, that should do it. That's, well, let me stick this. I think it's stuck to my scissors anyway. Let's put it right there. Okay. <sighs> um, I really am tired, y'all. <laughs> a, a sigh of exasperation <laughs> it's the bunnies y'all the bunnies are driving me bonkers next year y'all will see the real bunny I'm telling you but we make do with what we have so it's fine and I have a million steampunk things like um, seriously like a bunch and I uh, actually saw a few more on Aliexpress recently that I want um, but I uh, I'm just not willing to pay the price for, you know, because I'm not, it's not like I use it all the time. I really do like steampunk, but I don't make a ton of it or anything, so I don't want to pay a fortune for them, but, um, um, I would use some of them, so, and one's like a, a steampunk mermaid die, so I'm hoping that one comes in, um, well, not to be honest, I haven't ordered it yet, <laughs> but I do plan on doing that quite soon. But I hope it comes in before uh, the left-handed crafter's birthday, because I know she likes steampunk, and I wanted to do a a little steampunk birthday card for her again. I did one, probably not last year, I did one one year anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the steampunk stuff, so... Okay. Ugh, make it just my hands. I hate having glue hands. I'd rather have that stuff on my hands than glue hands. Did you guys see the newest um, Whimsy Stamps release? Oh, so cute. So cute. That little, you know how they have the donkeys and the little birds and the, all their little faces? and um, Definitely more on the cute side, though. Uh, but now they have a bunny set, and but I don't think I could get it in and ordered and all that good stuff in, in time to really use it this year. So I'll just pick it up sometime when they're having a, a good sale or something. And uh, But I do definitely want I'm afraid it'll sell out. I'm, I've got that fear, too. I guess FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. Um, but by the time I need it, <laughs> hopefully they'll have had time to restock and all that stuff too so it won't really be that big of an issue okay so I was going to go ahead and put these down but I do need that sentiment strip there so I'm not sure um, I wonder if that little one now that's too much like that one hmm. okay that'll work So, so you guys into steampunk? Do you do you like steampunk? Do you? Uh, I want to do a steampunk circus card coming up too. Um, when I do some of my circus themed things, there are several little steampunk things um, that came from Viva Las Vegas, and uh, I thought those were kind of neat and different. But anyway, Whimsy also has. Um, a nice big band-aid die that I thought was pretty cool. I um, actually need a few get well cards right now. I wish I had it now. Um, but <gasps> Ew. Mm. I'll wipe it up with my little wipe. That'll do it. 
Okay, so for right now, um, that is going to be the edge of that, and it's just going to have to like flatten down and dry well. And I'm going to have to lay, set it to the side, lay something on top of it. Maybe this. No, I still need that. Yeah, something. Oh, I just dropped it in the garbage can. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's not that great of card, but it's not 100% garbage. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So next up, I did one in gray, and I cut out um, two egg shapes. You could use ovals for this as well, actually, and pull up your eggs. So I just embossed them all in that same folder, and um, so I'm going to go ahead, I think, and puffy tape all of these. Probably should have had that done first if I would have thought about it. But I did not, I'm sorry. Don't want to put so much, but oh way. This is gonna take this entire roll. That's that's not good. Let's stretch that out a little bit. So we don't have to put so much. I hate when a card, like you don't have enough puffy tape though, and it sort of sags somewhere, you know. You'll see. Alright. So I need to make my cousin a get well card first. Actually, I need to make my other cousin a birthday card. I want to do a, a goat theme card for hers. Um, I'm way late. <laughs> it's like super late. Um, but my dad is also super late with her, um, a dinner that he wanted to fix her. So, um, it'll work out, I think. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna take her up something together. And, uh, <gasps> no, oh no. Well, yeah. Okay. So I was gonna do this part first. Well, it's going to go around the edges with uh, this once again. So, I'm going to use the black. <laughs> It'll be okay, but not as good. But it'll be fine. I just need the edges anyway. And I could lift it up a little bit if I had to. Get a nice paper cut. Oh my gosh. Don't you think your hands are just going to fall off when you get a paper cut? Ugh. Oh, but anyway. So back to the cards I need to make. I need to make my little cousin a get well card. She was the nurse I was telling you guys about. I don't know if I told you last. On the last night's card or not. But anyway. Um, no, it's not before last. I don't know. Whenever. Um. She was in an accident. Somebody, they didn't actually like totally T-bone her on the side, past, I mean the driver's side door. It was just like on up here just a little bit, but it did cause um, all her airbags to go off. And she's got a, um, a bad cut, I guess from the, I don't know what from, like from the airbag or something. Um, uh, like, where was it? I don't know. Her hand was like cut down to her tendon though. It was rough. They thought they were going to have to send her to a faraway place to get it um, stitched back up. They didn't. So the uh, semi local hospital got it. And um, all right, this looks a little weird, a little choppy. So I'm going to have to go on down and around a little bit. Um, since I kind of messed it up. It'll be fine. I think you can still tell it's gray. I don't know. I hope. Um, but anyway, she also, um, I think, fractured her, was it collarbone? Something. And uh, she, I knew she, like, hurt her shoulder. But now it's more. And, uh, That or that way, I guess it's that way. I'm not sure <laughs> which way it goes. Um, 
but anyway, hopefully she will get well, and, uh, but anyway, she's got a bunch of stuff wrong, but nothing, um, but she, uh, she is a nurse and does work with her hands, so I'm assuming she's not going to be able to work for a while with it, but, uh, um, I can't remember all the stuff now, it's so sad, but there's a bunch of little things, um, but anyway, so hopefully she can get all healed up and all that good stuff. I'm going to make her something this weekend, um, something food-wise. She likes my party mix, so I might make her some of that. Um, I think my dad's going to make her some banana pudding and just, you know, little things. Okay, so... Everybody go. So here's our bunny. And then I've got a bunch of these cut out. I've also got these. Um, these are like just little wheels and cogs, but I really like these, especially for the green card. But they're so heavy. I don't know about those going through the mill. Have to have to see about that. All right. So I cut I cut out. Actually, this is a Stampin' Up! punch. This is a, a die. But, um, and this is that bright colored metallic cardstock. Um, I found it Michael's last time I went. I haven't been there in a long time now. Alright, I think I do want that there. I'll figure out the bunny later. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I might have room to put a sentiment on the bottom. We'll see. So... I'm just going to put that right there. Don't know how metallic and metallic is going to glue together very well, but maybe. Let me just sit this on top of it for right now. Um, and I have these big giant ones. It's a little large, but I'll put that with it. It's maybe not too bad. I think I need more like a, um, instead of this bright silver, I need like a brushed silver or a gunmetal gray or something. But I don't, I don't think I have that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I don't. But it is what it is for right now because it's late and we're going to get this done. Might try some more tomorrow. I do have a few more bunny stamps I would like to use, but I've already missed my spring deadline, and it's not probably going to be on time for Easter either. So, like, I don't know what's what's after that um, Memorial Day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when you guys will see these, but you'll hopefully get a, a bunny card at some point. I don't know. I would really like to mail them out by Monday. But hmm. so um, but like I was saying, so let me know if you guys are in into steampunk, what you do the most, what colors do you use? This is, I know, an odd choice of colors, probably, but typically you see a lot of tans and, um, tan and black and, you know, a lot of cream and, but I do like, like I was talking about making brandy a card, um, some of the blue and the ocean theme with it, that looked interesting. And they've been out forever, but uh, I just, <laughs> sometimes I'm late to the party, you know. But that's okay, because then they're always in stock, and that's nice. <laughs> I do like that. I hate when I want something, or at least a 
a piece of something like I'll have part of the set and then they're out you know like the Tim Holtz stuff or whatever sells out in like two seconds um, I do not appreciate that <laughs> like I feel like they know that his fans are going to do that so for goodness sakes just make enough But you gotta create that frenzy, right? To to buy and buy now. And if you think it's gonna be there forever, just like with this stuff, you know, haven't picked up that much steampunk stuff um, because of that, I guess. But but like I said, I, I do have plenty and lots, of, especially lots of stamps. Um, I don't guess I have that many steampunk dies, but um, I still have several. So you'll you'll see them coming up. I'm gonna do hopefully this summer too some uh, steampunk things. We'll have a little steampunk week or something. I don't know. I think I need a week for everything. Like I need a week to stamp all my little chicken stamps and um, a week for kind of some mixed media. A week for steampunk. A week for just lots of stuff. I feel like, I guess one of the reasons I'm not as pleased with this is, um, just in general, is I feel like it needs more layers and more texture. And not, I mean, there's the texture, it's there, I'm saying, but it's, you know what I mean? Like papers and layers and, um, you know, like, like should I add some real metal, whatever's. Let's, let's look at that for a second. I feel like this one is not good. Maybe I'll cover that up with that. What do you think? Let's do that. It takes it takes a little bit of that harsh bright silver away. Again, I don't know if it'll stick to this. But only one way to find out. Ugh. It don't stick to that. I do like the three, you know, just the, on something maybe not in this corner, or a little tag, or I've got some words that say, let me see if I can find that, um, no. have this word that says steampunk. Could add some wings to the rabbit. I always like adding wings to things. Um, no. Come on, I've got a set somewhere. No words there. Oh, I really like this lady. She's cool. I like that a lot. And I like that stamp pretty good. This is turned into a stamp show. Here it is, here it is. This is what I'm looking for, okay. So, what does this say? Uh, get it in gear, that's cute. Uh, may the steam, may the steam be with you. I guess that's taking off on a journey. Full steam ahead. Uh, gears make the world go round. Yeah, not really relating to the bunny. But anyway, so, all right guys, that is gonna be my, um, egg bunny whatever for right now and then I'll do something with the inside maybe do another just plain egg without embossing to write in it what do you think um but let me know if like I said if you do steampunk or if you have any ideas please please for the bunnies please comment below and let me know like oh, my bunnies need help y'all <laughs> so all right we're gonna keep trying but um so for now, there's that bunny card. And look, I want to show you one other. I was cutting them out before I um, em embossed them. I did just a plain bunny and then this swirly egg. And look how pretty. I'll tell you what, let's turn it over on the back for a second. Well, you can't tell with, with the embossing, but I just thought that looked so simple and elegant or something. I don't know. Maybe in another color or cream or something, but I like it. 
So, all right, guys. Well, I will talk to you later and uh, full steam ahead. <laughs> Actually, full steam ahead just to bed right now. So, bye, guys. <laughs>